Now let's move on to the heavy hitter, the greatest of all time, Ludwig van Beethoven. Uh, that's not a debate, by the way. Beethoven is the greatest of all time. Um, so at the last recital I gave in 2017, I played the first movement of his Pathetique Sonata. Today I'm playing the third movement. Pathetique sounds like pathetic, but it doesn't mean pathetic. It means emotional, in this case, with pathos. Uh, let's see. So here's a question. Uh, what does Rondo mean? If you can see, the name of the third movement there is Rondo. Round, Ra round yeah. Any of my uh, students from the past? Give an explanation as to what, what uh, Rondo means as a, as a, as a four, musical form. I'm looking at that row. <laughs> yeah, I Go ahead. That last one, yeah, the second one. Yeah. So, what does that mean? A, B, A, C, A, D, A? Um, referring to the, uh, the musical phrases. Like exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, we have a main theme. We have a main theme, the A theme. And we start there. And then we move on to something else. The B, B section. And then we come back to the A theme. And then we move on to something else. And then we come back to the A theme. And it goes around and around like that. So, the rondo. Uh, let me see. Let me look at my notes real quick. Is there anything else I wanted to mention? <laughs> oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that we're kind of transitioning now. Those two, first two pieces were very Baroque in character, but now we're moving on to the classical era of classical music. So see if you can notice the differences. And also, look out for the main theme. It's the thing I start with, and it comes up, I think, four times throughout the piece. 